Local boy Paul Stoddart waited until everyone arrived in Melbourne to reveal the new Minardi. Yes, Team owner Stoddart grew up within a few kilometres of the Albert Park racetrack, but made a fortune in the European aviation business, which allowed him to buy the 19-year-old Minardi team. It's a nervous time for Minardi. The team could be in jeopardy unless more funds are found. But Stoddart and his team arrived in Melbourne with a new car, new engine and new drivers. Will the cost-cutting measures help his team? It certainly has. I mean, we're now, you know, we're competing with budgets that you could run a small country on. Um, and unfortunately, we're nowhere in that league. We're operating on 10% of some of the teams that we're against. Um, so, of course, any changes that, that give them less track time, that give us an advantage, whatever that advantage may be, are obviously welcome. I think you're going to see, as I said before, a very, very much closely fought championship this year. And where we're fighting, which is for midfield positions, I think with these rules and with our improved car and driver lineup, we can achieve what we want to achieve this year. Stoddart has opted for a mix of experience in his drivers. He has the service of the experienced Dutchman Jos Verstappen and taken on young Britain Justin Wilson. Stoddart has signed a one-year deal with Cosworth for their new Ford engines. Verstappen believes that despite the money worries, Minardi have a good package. We haven't done so many laps. I think we did 40 laps with a car in total. So. It's not too much, but uh, the engine power, it's really good, I think, and the uh, aerodynamics improved uh, compared to last year, so I think the car has to perform better than last year. The team had to redesign their car to accommodate Wilson. At six foot three inches, he's the tallest Grand Prix driver in the modern era. He couldn't evacuate last year's car in time to meet F1 safety requirements.